What's up everybody, Superworks fan here, and today I'm doing a review of the Tune Plus tune for the EcoBoost Mustang here. So, Tune Plus uh, is uh, run by Adam of AdamTune.com, and uh, he is regarded as one of the best tuners in the EcoBoost Mustang community, uh, and his stuff is uh, really, really great. He's got a really good track record, uh, and his stuff uh, really puts down a lot of great power. So he uses the Cobb Access port, which is great. Uh, you guys have already seen. If you watch and follow along with my uh, build, I guess you could say, of my car here, uh, you've already seen my review of the access port and the Stage 1 tune, which is an excellent st starting point and an excellent um, you know, basis for more modifications. It's great as it is. You can just leave it you know, Stage 1 as well, and that's fine too. Um, but the, the great thing about Tune Plus and Pro Tuners in general is that it, they can custom tailor the map of the car to your area, the type of gas that you use, your drive style and they can really you know dial everything in just right and make sure that your car is running 100% perfect for the conditions and the area that you're in and um, so it's it's really nice and you know of course the tunes can evolve with your modifications as well depending on you know which package you go with with Adam he has you know a cheaper single e-tune which is just a you know basic tune that you get revisions on um, you know just to make sure everything's good and then you're done or you can do a lifetime e-tune and that you know even if you get a new turn or you want to do different fueling, you know, E85 or whatever, he can continue continue to evolve your maps and change and, you know, give you lots of options so that, you know, the tune can grow with you and your car, which is a very cool thing to do as well. And uh, so that's, you know, just the great thing is you can have it customized exactly for the modifications you have and get everything all dialed in. Um, and uh, so it's really, you know, the best way to maximize your car's potential and uh, do it in a safe manner still. That's one thing. Because me, uh, if any of you know me, I'm extremely paranoid when it comes to modifications. I've never really done more than an exhaust system on a car anyway. So this is my first time, um, you know, doing a tune. And uh, so, you know, it was, I had kind of a worst case scenario because um, the, I, it's currently winter time when I'm filming this and winter gas is terrible here in the Northeast. And because of that, um, the car wasn't running quite right. We, you know, the car seemed to drive fine, but then we'd do data logs and things would be just slightly off. And so that meant we had to continue to do lots of revisions on the tune and generally that you only need about three revisions and then he can get everything sorted out and everything's good and um, but with me I had you know many more revisions than that and just going out doing data log after data log to try and figure everything out and we finally uh, narrowed it down and figured out it is the gas I actually went and put in just a little bit of E85 into the tank you know a full tank uh, just to bring up the ethanol content and when we did that then everything was fine and everything got normal in the car so it's not like my car had an issue or there was an issue with the tune it was just the gas and um, that that was that so but it was really stressful because you know I'm always paranoid about you know this is my daily driver this is my only car uh, and you know I don't have a ton of cash sitting in the bank to just buy a new motor if mine blows up so you know it's very important that you know you have a safe tune and a tune that you're comfortable with and that's you know made just right for your vehicle and so that's you know great that you know that's what the uh, tune plus provides with their tune and um so it's really cool, you know, it's similar, you know, with the Cobb access port, you know, you have several different options, so you can change the maps on the fly, and uh, so, you know, there's five different map settings that you can go to, and so, you know, you can have a lower boost map, there's a fuel economy map for when you're just cruising on the highway, or the full-on, full boost map. Now, because of my uh, situation with gas here uh, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, he had to t pull back the timing a little bit and the boost a little bit, uh, just, you know, until gas quality gets better around here. Um, so I'm not making as much horsepower as all of the other cars that he normally, uh, you know, tunes. And uh, so if you're interested in, you know, seeing all the numbers and the dyno charts and all that kind of stuff, uh, in the description, I linked a build thread that he has on the Mustang 6G forums. You can follow along and read, uh, you know, dozens of other customers' uh, opinions on his tune and how, you know, the quality is and whatnot. And so, uh, so that's where you can follow along. And you can see all the numbers there as far as what kind of power these put down with his tunes and whatnot. Uh, I'll hopefully be getting mine dynoed once I get a few other modifications done and have everything else uh, dialed in the way I want. But um, yeah, and I mean, so as far as the actual tune feels, um, I would say one thing that I noticed right off the bat, and of course I gotta slow down for a school zone now, um, but one thing I did notice right off the bat is that uh, the tune feels more like a traditional turbocharged engine. So anyone that's driven a stock EcoBoost knows there is a 
boatload of torque down low, but then it really, really thins out towards the top, and then you, you it really dies. Um, and I mean, some people that might bother them more than others. It didn't really bother me that much because by the time I had gotten to the upper RPMs, I was already going so quick that it didn't bother me. The car started slowing down. Um, but the nice thing is, you know, the Cobb Stage One tune it kind of keeps that same stock feeling. So if that's what you like, then you know the Cobb Stage Tune still does retain that. And you can obviously that's the great thing about a Pro Tune is you can tell him exactly what you want the car to feel like, and he can dial it in. And in one of my revisions, I said I want more torque, and he made it so that there was more torque that came on down low. And he can just you know mess around with all that and make it exactly custom tailored to what you want but um, you know so but with most of his tunes you know when I first did his standard tune um, it definitely does push that whole power curve to the right a little bit at least that's the way it felt to me so that you know it was you still had good power down low I mean this motor still makes great torque uh, even at the low rpms um, but it, it mostly just made it feel like you know it was more peaky you had more power coming on in the higher rpms so you had to rev it out a little bit more to really maximize all that. Instead, with a stock EcoBoost, you could drive around below 4,000 RPMs all day and get most of what the car offers as far as power goes. Um, whereas this, you still you got to start ringing it out more, and it feels more traditional, almost more WRX-like. So I know obviously my channel name, Super WRX fan. So if you like WRXs and you like the way it delivers power, this isn't quite as extreme with you know having absolutely no power until 3,000 RPMs. You have lots of power below that, but uh, it's kind of a similar sensation where it's a little bit more of a you know delayed turbo sensation, which is uh, fun. I think it adds to the drama because you have to wait for it for a little bit and then it comes on and kind of explodes more dramatically than just having consistent torque all the way through. So um, yeah, uh, but you know as far as the, everything else with the tune goes, it's good. So you get a, right around the same miles per gallon that you do get in stock normally, um, which is great as well. I mean obviously that will again vary depending on your driving situations and how he has to custom tailor your tune. Um, but you know on average I would normally get a, around 26 miles per gallon in mixed driving, um, which was phenomenal stock, and I got about the same with the Cobb tune. Now with his tune, I'm getting an, and I just have, it's been a while since I reset it, but it's right around 24. So that's with all these data logs I've been doing as well, which are third gear full throttle pulls uh, up to 6,000 RPMs, which is another thing I want to mention is, you know, make sure that you're comfortable doing, uh, you know, full throttle acceleration pulls and make sure that you have a place where you can safely and legally do that um, because that does involve some elevated speeds and um, but yeah so that's basically you know it as far as the way that it feels and I mean the miles per gallon like I said around 24 and if you're going straight highway you can still get over 30 miles per gallon which is it's really great and um, so overall I mean it just you know it has obviously it still feels very much like OEM and obviously the quality and everything the car doesn't drive weird or have any weird things that it does or anything else to be apprehensive about really um, so that is you know nice now of course like any other tune you definitely have to be careful with your warranty I'm gonna be honest and put it out there um, you know Ford is starting to crack down and get really smart with their tunes and you know they have their own tunes they'd rather push instead of getting a better one off the aftermarket and whatnot so um, you definitely you know have to be mindful of that that most likely you know Ford can figure out if you have a tune and that's something that you're gonna want to keep in mind and just be okay with the fact that you may not have an engine warranty if you go ahead and tune and that goes for any tune any tuner that's just the way it is um, so if that's something you can accept then you can reap the benefits otherwise if you're extremely paranoid like I tend to be sometimes and if you're very cautious and safe or you bought an extended warranty or something like that then I would probably say to hold off on you know tuning and whatnot until after your warranty is up and then you know have at it but uh, yeah that's just again just personal advice uh, you know, because from my experiences and my first time tuning a car, it's definitely something that if things aren't perfect or for whatever reason there's something that goes wrong with, with your car or whatever, uh, it's, it's it can be definitely nerve-wracking for sure. So um, just something to keep in mind. Uh, and again, it's different. Everyone reacts differently to different things. Uh, so, you know, some people are totally fine with the modified life, so to speak, and other people may be better off just with a stock car and that's it. So, um, you know, definitely think about that before you go and make the leap. Um, but if you do decide to make the leap, I'm here to tell you that obviously uh, it's 
it definitely gives you way more power, uh, way more performance, and uh, you really don't have to sacrifice anything. You don't lose any miles per gallon, really, uh, you know, and Adam has a perfect record as far as, you know, the reliability goes, so it's not like you're dangerously pushing the car. I mean, he makes sure everything's very safe, and that's the whole point of the data logs, is to make sure that everything is dialed and everything's running right, the car is okay with everything, and to really just make sure that, you know, nothing is amiss with the car, um, because obviously he wants to make sure the car is, uh, you know, safe and uh, reliable for you as well. So, uh, but yeah, it's, a, it's really fun, I mean, just... <laughs> just stomping on it I mean it just goes it's quick and uh, so it's uh, it's it's really fun it's awesome to have the extra power and um, so for those that want more power I mean I think most of the Mustang community will agree that Adam is one of the best out there and uh, for those of you not even in Mustangs but in uh, other Ford vehicles you know he does the whole EcoBoost range he's done Subarus and uh, he's going to be doing the new Focus RS he's planning on having a map already ready to go by the time the car is launched so those of you that have Focus RS's on order that are planning on getting one um, definitely if you want more power than 350 he will be there with a map to maximize the performance of that car as well and make it even more insane than it already is. <laughs> I'm telling you, with this one other thing I want to mention lastly with this tune is it certainly likes to break the rear tires loose even more so than before. I drove with this tune on in various stages uh, with both my all season tires and now my winter tires, which especially like to break loose with all this extra power. Um, but yeah, so uh, you might want to get some stickier rubber as well if you're going to be running extra power because uh, it's it really does like to break the back end loose a whole lot more, which just goes to show just how much more powerful the car is than stock. But uh, yeah, so that's it as far as all my impressions here on the Tune Plus Tune. Uh, and uh, so yeah, all the info is in the description below for the website and his build thread and everything else. So definitely go and you know, do your own research and you know, check everything out. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can feel free to reach out to him as well in regards to your personal setup and whatnot. But um, he's very experienced, has a, like an excellent record, like I said. But yeah, if you're interested in one of his tunes, like I said, all the links are in the description below. Uh, you can. Uh, definitely send him an email and uh, tell him I sent you and he'll be more than happy to help you out. So anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.